My name is Camille Tynes. I'm from Detroit, Michigan, and I'm here to speak on the family court corruption in Detroit, Michigan. When I was 14 years old, I was taken away from my mother for it on illegitimate causes. I am one of six, and the Family Court Protection Agency, they didn't protect us at all. In fact, they put us in harm's way. I'm asking you to please take a look at the corruption within the state of Michigan. There's too many families that are being ripped apart and nothing is stopping these judges, these foster care workers, these people from ripping apart the lives of different people. I was sexually molested by my father and physically abused. On a day-to-day -day basis, I went without eating. I was physically abused, mentally abused, but yet no one helped us. I and my siblings, we told consistently to our counselors, our workers, everyone, including the judge, both the judges that were on our cases, but yet no one listened. In fact, they turned a deaf ear. This is too big of an issue. When we go through the court systems, we're treated as though we are the criminals, and yet we are truly the victims. We're told that we're lying, we're told that we're either mentally ill, or even when you show them all the evidence that's there, they say, well then it's in the past, move forward from it. But I'm asking you, yeah, I'm pleading with you, save our American families, save our families and look into the situation. Um, I had just currently found out that there was another sexual assault currently, just a couple of uh, months ago, with his new two and a half year old daughter. And again, he lied and blamed it on another family member instead of them addressing it. Again, it's ignored. Uh, he sexually assaulted all six of our children. They had shared that with me. As I went forward to try to protect them and to put a stop to it, I was accused of being the one of putting the sexual abuse into my children's heads based on their father's wording. Several of his friends, including the chief judge, Virgil Smith, got on our case, and from there, everything was ignored. Uh, I was defamed, I was harassed, I was intimidated, I was threatened to back down. They told me to plead no contest for no housing or I would never see my children again when I refused to do that. They continued to keep my children from me. When I finally felt pressured and scared of never being able to see my children and stated I plead no contest for no housing, I found out a month later by a psychologist, uh, she gave me a stack of paperwork. She said, this is the paperwork they do not want you to see. I read it and it stated in there that I pled no contest to being mentally ill. I never did that. That's a flat out lie right there. They failed to report when my children were getting F's and failing in school with their father when he, uh, Judge Virgil Smith forced the children to be placed back with him knowing that there was enough evidence I had found out by Dr. Wanda Huggett who stated Judge Kim Smith knew she had enough evidence to keep my children from him and did not do it because Judge Virgil Smith, who's now the chief judge of Wayne County, told judges, attorneys, therapists, even uh, attorneys at legal aid when I went there not to help me, not to um, even help me pursue my spousal support. My ex-husband was in the rear of over 42000 in child support and owed me spousal support, which was all court ordered, which I never received. It ended up going to the foster care system when they took my children based on falsification and distorted information. Um, and from there, when I went to the FBI, showed them my evidence, they felt there was enough evidence and showed that it was proof of major corruption going on, but they never did do anything. They stated that they didn't handle this part of the case. A FBI agent from another city, Bay City, Michigan, told me she wanted to take my case because Detroit, Michigan, FBI, nor police, nor courts were doing their job in protecting my children. She stated her supervisor told her that I was out of her jurisdiction. Next thing I knew, she was transferred to another state, I found out, through the U.S. Attorney's Office. 